you will first need to get fuel to the carburetor by priming the engine. With the ignition off, Move the prop back and forth across the compression point several times to move the fuel through the line. After your engine is primed, turn on your ignition switch and your radio system. Close the choke valve. Raise the throttle stick slightly above the idle position. Be sure the model is well secured and cannot move forward when the engine starts. Flip the prop until you hear the engine fire. It will be a very brief pop. Now open the choke valve. Continue flipping the prop and be ready for the engine to start. Confirm you can stop the engine by lowering the trim on your throttle channel. If you can't, turn off the ignition at the switch and make the necessary changes to your throttle engine. If the engine shows no signs of starting, make sure you can see fuel inside the line leading to the carburetor. If not, you may need to prime the engine more or the fuel tank may be plumbed incorrectly. Is your ignition battery pack charged and functional? Confirm the ignition switch is working correctly by checking the battery voltage after the switch. Confirm that the high and low speed needle valves are properly set. For this DLE30, the factory settings are 1.5 turns out from the closed position for both needles. Slightly richening the low speed needle valve may help the engine get started. Check to make sure the ignition wire is well secured to the spark plug. You can also remove the spark plug to check the electrodes. If the plug is very wet, the engine is likely flooded. Rotate the prop several times to remove the excess fuel from the cylinder and allow the plug to dry. After the plug is dry, check for spark by connecting the plug to the ignition wire and making contact with the engine crankcase. Rotate the propeller while you watch for a spark from the plug. Finally, remove the carburetor filter cover and check the filter for dirt. If necessary, use carb cleaner to clean around the filter. If the engine will still not start by flipping it, try an electric starter. As the engine breaks in, it should become easier to get the engine started by hand.